We are really in for a treat with our oh, wow. next guests. That we grew to love Sandra O oh as Dr. Christina Yang in the hit series Grey's Anatomy, which earned her a Golden Globe. And then she went on to win another one in 2019 for her role in Killing Eve. Well, now Sandra is joining newcomer Hua Shande in the drama The Sympathizer, based on the Pulitzer Prize-winning novel. The show tells the story of the captain, played by Hua, a communist spy who flees to Los Angeles in the final days of the Vietnam War. But it seems as though his spying days aren't quite over, and Sandra takes on the role of Sophia, the captain's love interest, who's now facing questions around her own identity. You know you're very blunt. It's not very oriental of you. I'm an American. I see you. I see how you act around our dear professor, always smiling like the good Asian student you used to be. I recognize the suit. You wound me, Miss Mori, but I can take it. When faced by an unexpected turn of events, I say, huh. I expected this. Oh, Boss Sandra, good we morning. want more. Good morning. It's so nice to have you here. So, Juan, well, let's start with yeah. you. This is your first leading role. This right. is also your first live U.S. interview. Yeah. Oh, so, yay. welcome. This oh, is so much fun. Thanks for having me. Oh. <laughs> with you guys. You actually auditioned for this role for. Like, like something like nine months, yeah. right? What was that whole process like? Look, uh, honestly, I've, I didn't, I've never been through an audition process that's been so exhausting and so intense. And to be honest, I, when I did this, I was like, oh, is this how you get into a Hollywood production? <laughs> I was like, is this the, 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 yeah. um, the initiation? But yeah, it was like, after my first audition in January 2022, um, I got a callback two weeks later, and that set me on the journey of like a callback every single month. And wow. I was like doing Zoom, and then I was doing like to, to the showrunners, to the producers, and then they flew me to Korea seven months in to meet director Park, yeah. wow. to have dinner with him. And I thought, is this it? And then yeah. I flew back, and it was still still wasn't it. And then <laughs> and then I came back to LA eight months late, like um, in the eighth month, a month after Korea, to do the same thing. And I met all the producers and. Director Park and Don McKellar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our um, showrunner. Yeah. Like, this yeah. has to be happening. Yeah. What is yeah, going yeah. on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lit then it. by the ninth month, um, after all of that, after letting this go so many times, sleepless nights, like, you know, just racking my brain, thinking that I'd never get it, uh, Don McKellar popped up on Zoom, was like, you've got the role. Yeah. 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 You could have had a baby. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was bearing a child. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> so, Sandra, this, this, what's fascinating about this when I mm. watched this first episode, I, uh, we've seen a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows about the Vietnam War, but this yeah. is the first time we've seen it from a different perspective. Yeah, the Vietnamese. Not, not, the, U yes. not the U.S. perspective. Yes, not the U.S. perspective, the Vietnamese perspective. You know, uh, the novel Viet Thanh Nguyen, I mean, that's... That's one of the reasons why he, I think that he wanted to write this. Oh, obviously, his per, uh, per personal um, a desire to explore this uh, material where it's like we've never seen or we, the Western audience has yet to see, you know, a piece about the perspective from the Vietnamese perspective. So, you know, Hua plays the, the, the communist spy, you know, who's exiled in Los Angeles. And so, you know, for me to be able to lend support and be a part of this, to, to kind of help people question, how do I know about the war in Vietnam? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What are the images that I know? What are the perspectives? And have I ever, ever seen it from the perspective of, a, of the Vietnamese? Mm -hmm. So, so, so important. Can't wait. Yeah. You star alongside Robert Downey Jr. Of course, you have this rock star here sitting next yeah. to you. Tell me what this experience was like. I mean, you're working with some greats here. Look, I, I, when I stepped onto this sh set for the first time, I felt so green and so inexperienced because, you know, I'm set, stepping on the set with... Sandro and, yeah, and, and yeah. Robert Downey Jr. and these uh, these guys are like a pros in their field. They won awards, you know. Mm. Um, but they really took care of me. Like Sandra, you spoke up on my behalf a lot of the time when I didn't know what I could do and what I was allowed to do yeah. and speak up mm. on behalf of. And then uh, Robert just kept kept it really fun. Like yeah. Yeah. he's a silly uh, yeah, yeah. sort of like goofy yeah. uh, personality to have on set. And he's got a, mil a million different characters coming out of him, but we could only sort of capture the four. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so it was just really fun to know that these really experienced actors could just be so humble and supportive of, you know, new talent like myself. Um, I really... Uh, yeah, appreciated that. Yeah, I think that was important for me. It's like, you know, our the majority of our cast are all Vietnamese, Vietnamese, Australian, Canadian, mm. Vietnamese from mm. Vietnam, Vietnam and American. And, you know, the majority of the cast, 
like joined SAG yeah. for the first time. So it's like, you know, people who might not yet know what what your rights are. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. What the yeah. rules are. No, absolutely. So it's the kind of I thing was like, I was like, am I allowed to eat food? Am I allowed to go on a break now? Like, am I allowed to yeah, turn this yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. You need somebody to help you get through yeah. that. Yeah, to navigate yeah. that. Right. Yeah. I thought it was so interesting when I saw you both could have been us. You had a journalism scholarship. Oh, right? yeah. And you have yeah. a diploma in journalism from yeah. oh, Australia. Really? Yeah, yeah, I know. So, I did so, not. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, right. Uh, but you got a diploma. I kind of like hit went. it a little bit. But uh, never the thing is, so the diploma in Australia is a little bit different from the diploma that's here. It's not quite a degree. It's it's okay. kind of like le lesser than a degree. I did it for a year, and uh, to be honest, I don't feel like I could do what you guys do every day. So <laughs> well, I wish yeah, yeah. you guys do. <laughs> oh, well, but yeah, so I, I kind of like took my creativity on a different path yeah. after doing that diploma. Um, yeah, and I, got, I guess I theater school. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, oh, that's what happened. You yeah, followed yeah. it worked out better for you. Yeah, yeah, so if you can't out. be a journalist, become an actor. Uh, yeah. There, you yeah. Go. Yeah. there you go. Guys, thank you so thank much you for guys. being here. You are so yeah. lovely. It was mm -hmm. so great to chat. And of course, you can check out their new show, The Sympathizer, Sunday nights on HBO and streaming on Max. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.